all right so in this video i'm going to talk about the concept of kv cache so in mistral generally we use the concept of rolling buffer cache but to understand the rolling buffer cache you need to know the concept of kv cache so let's first talk about what is kv cache with some visual explanations and understanding which will be easier for you to understand and then in the next video we will try to see how the rolling buffer cache works in case of mistral so in case of uh, transformer models right uh, we have like the once the model is trained we have this model where uh, this this is kind of the model which we have trained so let's try to visualize like the inference phase so this is after once the model is trained so once the model is trained we get this model and during inference phase right inference phase what we try to do is we try to do the next word prediction right so the for the example like which we have been using in this series uh, the input token or the input sentence right so attention is all you need so this is the input sequence which we are trying to feed to the model and it will kind of generate the output what we are looking for so how it ha happens in in the next word prediction is at first we feed kind of uh, start of sentence token so this is kind of start of sentence token that will be feed here uh, to the model and we will expect that the model will produce the output as attention right so then we will kind of add this to the input so attention will be added here and this will be fed it to the model and the model is kind of now produce is as the next token right so is will be again added back to the input prompt or the input context and now the we will expect the model to produce all right so once all this all is also produced that will be added back to the input and that will kind of increase the context length and also the context which is easier for the model model to understand what would be the next token and with the help of this much context it will produced you right so similarly this process will go on and uh, then we will fade you which will produce need so once the need is added to the input sequence then the model will produce end of sentence token right so the, generally this is the kind of the process what goes on during the inference phase and the next word token prediction and all you can see like we have lot of repetition of task right at the last step we wanted to produce uh, this need right so we want to have this need as kind of the output and once we feed this need we also need to feed this all of the previously generated tokens right so all these tokens we are also feeding to the model which will kind of enhance the context for the model and it will uh, ask it will give the more details about what is the uh, previous context of the model but this also has additional complexity right so this is like the additional complexity which model has uh, which is kind of also a repetitive task right so this is kind of repetitive so so can we like uh, remove this repeating part right can we cache all this part which we have already done right so this token generation is already done right so we don't need to uh, feed this again and again and uh, do the computation the all the query key value multiplication uh, the, at first the query and key value multiplication then the v value multiplication and in between also we need to like divide it by the dimension of the d and also we need to take the softmax right so there are a lot of steps which goes on in this whole process and a lot of things we can cache right so that's why the concept comes of uh, comes as kv cache like where we will try to reduce the computation and we will uh, reduce the repetitive task that we have been doing with this architecture of uh, the vanilla transformer architecture in the attention all you need paper right let's go ahead and try to visualize how the matrix multiplication operation happens in case of uh, attention all you need paper right so this is the formula which we have the attention formula where we kind of multiply the query with the k transpose and we have we pass the uh, corresponding tokens so the first token related to query and key value is passed and uh, we do this matrix multiplication and we get the output which is q 
uh, transpose right and that is kind of a one uh, vector that we kind of produce so if i just talk about the dimension so this is if i take the model dimension as uh, 4096 the mating dimension so this is also one cross uh, so once we do the transpose so this will become 4096 cross 1 right so once you multiply this we will get a 1 cross 1 vector so i hope you you got this concept like how this uh, multiplications are kind of working and we will follow this similar step uh, for the future steps also so once that is done we uh, kind of produce the qk transpose and that we multiplied with v v is again 1 cross uh, 4096 uh, vector right so the output will be uh, tension uh, matrix which is the which will be the first output token right so the output token one and the shape of that would be one cross 4096 right so we start with the input token which is like a token the first token which can be a start of sentence token also and then we uh, kind of multiply with like the corresponding token one for the uh, key matrix and also we get the query q tr k transpose as a matrix multiplication operation then we kind of do the multiplication with v and we get a uh, output token one which is like a one cross four zero nine six uh, embedding size right then we what we do is we kind of uh, keep the first token as it is and we append the second token and we also append the uh, second token associated with the uh, key matrix right and we kind of after doing this operation which is like 2 cross 4096 multiplied uh, by uh, 4096 cross 2 so which will produce like 2 cross 2 uh, vector and that we multiply with a v vector which will again produce output which will be a shape of uh, 2 cross 4096 right so you can already see the repetition which we are doing right so we are kind of generating the output token one again when we are producing the output token two right and then similarly for the third step we will get the third token and we kind of do the uh, matrix multiplication operation which will produce a uh, three cross three qk transpose matrix and that will be multiplied with a value vector and we get a uh, output token three right so uh, if we talk about uh, the last output token right the output token 3 uh, so you can see like that time also we are kind of generating the output token 1 output token 2 and output token 3 right so these are kind of the repetitive task which we are doing right so if i just visualize the output uh, the attention matrix which is like the uh, qk transpose so i'm just talking about uh, this qk transpose here we can see like this matrix actually i'm talking about here we can see once we are generating the last token the token three right so we are also generating the token one and token two but this token one and token two is also generated during the second step right and when we are generating the token two that time also we are generating the token one which also got generated in the previous step right so a lot of additional steps that we are performing in this operation and that is kind of very uh, repetitive in nature right so which which we i have like marked it as kind of a repetitive steps which we are doing during this uh, qk transpose process and also if i talk about the output right so in the last token if i again concentrate about the last token which is uh, output token 3 that time also we are kind of process uh, we are generating the output token 1 and token 2 which we have already done in the previous two steps but still we are kind of generating that right so that is also a kind of repetitive task which we are doing so what we are trying to do using uh, this kv cache thing is can we cache a few of the repetitive computations that we are doing and uh, we can reduce this uh, multiplication operation and make this process simpler and the inference would be much more faster right so let's try to do how we can uh, do that using kv cache okay so just carrying on with the same example so at first the first step is same what we have discussed previously just that i have added the dimensions for your understanding so we have the token one uh, which is which is associated with q we have the token one which is associated to k transposed then we kind of do a matrix multiplication of 1 cross 496 uh, 4096 uh, multiplied by 4096 cross 1 and we get the output as 1 cross 1 which we again multiply with a 
v vector which is 1 cross uh, 4096 and get uh, attention uh, matrix which the shape is like 1 0 1 cross 4096 right now what we do in case of kv cache is we kind of replace this uh, the for token which is associated with q matrix and that we replace with the token 2 right so previously it was like we were appending the token 2 along with the token 1 here we are not doing that and we are only um, only using the token 2 as kind of the uh, matrix for q and then we are caching the values which are related to k and v right so you can see like both the tokens are present token 1 and token 2 are present in case of k and v that's why we call it as kv cache so we are kind of uh, preserving this these two tokens and we are kind of replacing the uh, tokens which are related to query vector right and then we once we do this multi multiplication operations what we will do is we will get only the token 2 as output right so here we, we are not generating the to output token 1 again so we are only generating the output 2 at the second step right similarly what we do is at the thir third step we kind of replace the token related to q matrix with token 3 and we are kind of preserving the uh, matrices where we are kind of caching those matrices and also we are kind of generating this uh, Q K transpose with a lesser operations right so previously it was kind of a 3 cross 3 after the third step but here we are kind of generating 1 cross 3 right so this 1 cross 3 will be multiplied with 3 cross 4096 which will result in generating uh, only the uh, output token as 3 right so which will be uh, a shape of 1 cross 4096 right so here we can see that we are caching the uh, matrices which are related to query uh, sorry which are related to k and v and we are kind of replacing the tokens for query matrices which results in lesser computations and which will also I hope you uh, got an understanding of what this uh, kv cache is and with this in the next video we will try to understand what is a rolling buffer cache right so i hope you are enjoying this whole playlist of mistral spelled out where i am picking up each of the concepts and trying to understand it from a very uh, ground zero approach and trying i hope you like this content if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment i will try to answer it thank you see you in the next video